In this video, I'm going to cover the installation of the System89 software, drivers, along with the registration and testing of the System89 controllers. It's recommended that you copy the files from the distribution media to the hard drive. Here I've got them loaded to the download folder on this uh, Windows 10 machine. And if you want to check to see if you've got a valid copy, you can do a right click on this file, go down to properties, click on the digital signature tab, click on the signer's name, click on details, and this will show you that the digital signature is okay, or it'll say that it's not valid if there's an error in the copying. And so if it says okay here, you're assured that you have an exact copy of the original file. Now if you're not, if you don't know for sure that you're the administrator on the PC that you're installing this to, you can do a right click and run it as an administrator. On this machine, I am the administrator, so I'm going to go ahead and double click it to start the install. The user account control on Windows 10 and 7 and the 8 and 8.1 will ask you if you go want to run the install and just click yes. And here we have it launching. And the install is coming up. And so go ahead and this will tell you what you're installing here, the System 89 version 100. Click next. This is the folder that we're going to install the software to. Now we put this right off the root of the C drive because your tests and reports are going to be stored underneath this location. If you stick this off under some long uh, hidden folder, you might have a hard time finding where that's at. Go ahead and click next. This is the group name that's going to be under the start menu where all your shortcuts to launch the different programs will be located. And click next and we're ready to start the install. So here's the install of the System89 software. And it wants to know if you want to add your shortcuts onto the desktop. We'll say yes. Also we include Ballistic Explorer version 6.8.1. So if you already have Ballistic Explorer installed on your computer and you're at 681 or newer, this won't come up and it'll just tell you that it's not going to install it. So it's not on this computer, so we're going to go ahead and install Ballistic Explorer. Just click on Agree to the user license. Once again, we're at the destination folder is shown here. You can change that if you want. Click Next. This is the group name under the Start menu where you find the shortcuts to the program go ahead you're ready to install click next and here it's installing and once again do you want to have your shortcut on the desktop click yes and so the installation of, is complete of both the system 89 and the ballistic explorer software and that'll close down and I'm gonna bring this down so after installing software, and if you selected to add the shortcuts to your desktop, you'll find these four icons on your desktop somewhere. This is the Ailer System 89 main program. This is the demo version of that program. And this is the Truing program, and this is Ballistic Explorer. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on the full program here to launch it. And I'm getting this error message. This is because I haven't installed the driver required to interface the PC with the System 89 controller unit. So that's what I'm going to proceed to next. Now the easiest way, especially if you're on Windows 10 and you have a good internet connection, is just to plug in either one of the System 89 units and it will automatically install that and then when you launch it the next time this will come up. Now on Windows 10 you probably won't even see anything that's going on. In earlier versions of Windows, especially getting back to Windows 7, It'll show you that it's installing in software to make your hardware work and you'll get icons and prompts and stuff like that. But on Windows 10 it's almost invisible. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and install the manual version. You would do that if you don't have an internet connection, especially on an older system like a Windows 7. And so what I'm going to do is go to where we have installed the software. Remember we put it off the root here and you'll see I have a folder called drivers. We click on that 
Here's a README folder that you can bring up. It'll give you more information about what you need to do here. I'm going to close that. I'm going to go ahead and run the driver install. And once again, the user account control will ask you if you want to run this. And so here is the driver install. This is from a company that created the driver chip that we're using inside the controller units. I'm going to do the extract. And so this is next thing we do is click next. And I want to accept the user agreement. Click next. And it's saying that it has completed the install. And so I'm going to click finish. So after closing the driver installation, if you click on the program icon again, you'll still get this message because we need to plug in one of the System 89 controllers to complete the install of the driver. So after you've plugged in the System 89 controller, it'll go ahead and install the rest of the driver software. On Windows 7 and maybe on 8 and 8.1 you will see some indication that that's occurring. On Windows 10 it's pretty much invisible. And after that's done, when you launch the program, it'll come up. You see the screen here and it's asking to register the System 89 units. We have to register both our units. So I'm going to click Yes. You have instructions here and you need to make sure that you turn your controller on that you have plugged into the unit and then click register unit. It's finding it and it's got the information that it needs and you don't need to know any of these numbers but the PC will use those. Click OK and we're going to go ahead and plug the other unit in. So once I've plugged the other unit in and turned it on and let the LED go out, I click register unit and it found it, it's successful and I click OK, next down and now we're ready to use the program. So after installing the software and the drivers you can test your System 89 units by going up to tools and clicking on radio check. Now, the two units are identical, so whichever one is plugged into the PC is the gun unit, the other is the target unit. So make sure you have your antennas installed on both units, and then turn both units on, and allow about 15 seconds for the LEDs on both units to go out, and then click radio check. So you can see here it's initializing the gun unit, and now it's initializing the target unit, and it's synchronizing these units together. And as it's syncing up here, the lights are flashing on the units, letting you know that they're being synchronized. So here we can see we've got a strong signal level. They're sitting side by side, which is minus 40 dB. A weak signal would be like minus 95 or minus 100 dB. Also, we have the battery voltage of the target unit, 3.9. That's in the normal range. And you can just leave this run when you're out in the field and you want to move your target unit down range, you can even turn the target unit off, take it down range, set it up, turn it back on. The PC is still running up here and it will synchronize them back up again if you're within range and everything's working good, you'll see the LED on the target unit start to flash. And so that gives you assurance that you've got good communications before you go back down to the gun unit. So in this case, it's complete. We know that the units are working and I'm just going to go ahead and click end radio check. This video is meant as a quick overview, but far more detail is included in the user's manual, which you can access by clicking on the help menu and selecting the System 89 user's manual. I hope this video has been helpful. Thanks for watching.